Ed and Lorraine Warren have seen some pretty horrific occurrences in their past. Their journeys into the paranormal of our world have often left the general public in shock and horror, and have made for some of the spookiest based on real life stories that we've seen in the media to date. Whether or not you believe that their life's work is authentic, one thing is for certain though, the two of them are fantastic storytellers, and their accounts of what went down on some of their most famous cases is compelling. So today we're checking some of that out by counting down the top 5 scariest footage of Ed and Lorraine Warren. Starting us off in at number 5, Psychic Photos. If you're a fan of her channel, you may remember a video that we did on the eerie objects and artifacts that you can observe at Ed and Lorraine's Occult Museum in Connecticut. Well, here they go into detail about one particular type of creepy object that they have a handful of at their museum, psychic photographs. So what are psychic photographs? According to Ed Warren, a psychic photo is a phenomenon in which a camera, being an impartial witness, captures a ghost on film. But the crazy thing is, is that the image that you see of the ghost is one that it projects itself, an image of what it believes it looks like. This clip explores how exactly exactly that happens, and the Warrens describe instances in which they've witnessed spirit forms appearing beyond the physical eye. Ed also tells of how he captured the White Lady of Union Graveyard with his camera, one of their most famous images. We could put the first slide up and look at it. Wow. Well, there you're seeing the, your stereotype ghost. Look at the appendage like arms and legs. You know, when you see these uh, little cute ghosts that are, are painted and drawn, on Halloween. This is your stereotype ghost right here. And at number four, the Amityville House. This piece of footage, published by Mysterious World, features Lorraine Warren retelling her experience at the Amityville House. The Warrens in the past had gone to the famous Amityville House. It's one of their most famous cases. It's the place in which a man named Ronald DeFeo Jr. shot and killed six family members of his in 1974. And a year later, a new family, the Lutz family, had moved into the residence, only to be terrorized by a violent demonic presence. The Warrens had visited the house in an attempt to help the Lutz family part of which was adapted into the 2016 movie The Conjuring 2. In this video clip, we get more insight on what the real life events that occurred there were like. Lorraine tells her interview that, I quote, Places like Amity, if you gave me $1 billion, I wouldn't go in that house again, because it messed up my life and my husband's life. She also tells the interviewer that the Amityville house was where she levitated, which is pretty creepy. And at number 3, the effects of seeing a ghost. This 7 minute video features Ed and Lorraine Warren alongside a guest of theirs named Rod. Rod had seen multiple ghosts and has a discussion with the paranormal experts about the aftermath of seeing a ghost and how it affects one's life. He goes on to explain the intense sorrow that he felt after seeing the ghost, which just so happened to be the White Lady of Union Graveyard. He experienced night terrors, was extremely upset, and had excessive tremors for months, reoccurring whenever he was reminded of the event. Ed goes on to explain that the sadness that Rod felt is something called radiotelethesis, which happens when a human picks up on the emotions of a spirit when they have a close physical encounter. The fact that something like this could occur to any individual is pretty darn creepy. A good friend of mine had died. And uh, a couple nights after that, sitting in my bedroom, I saw the figure of a woman in front of my window. So I had, my bed was on this end of the room, and my windows were there. And from the light coming in, I could see a woman sitting looking out my bedroom window. And where the window ended, that's where the figure ended. And at number two, the Borley Rectory. The Borley Rectory is said to be one of the most haunted places in the UK. A nun had been buried within the walls of its church, and once found, was moved to a nearby graveyard. But ever since, there's been some serious haunting. According to this video, though, Ed and Lorraine have been to that location over 200 times. Talk about courage. The duo discussed their first experience at Borley Church in 1976, with Lorraine saying that the investigator that she was with, who was very skeptical to begin with, was assaulted by a spirit, claiming he could not breathe, and that something was pushing him. Later on, they listened back to the audio that they were recording while they were there. Lorraine said that you could hear a woman's voice over his screaming, saying the words, hit him, hit him. And finally, in at number one, Poltergeist. In this clip from a documentary, Ed and Lorraine talk about poltergeists and their dangers. It features a clip of them that they recorded with a family in Connecticut dealing with a poltergeist, with the family's face blurred out in order to give them privacy. It starts off with the group saying prayers, and then Ed tries to communicate with the spirit. We hear the spirit making banging noises in response. Ed proceeds to ask the spirit who it doesn't like, listing off each individual in the family. It finally answers yes via the knocking to the family's mother. Then Ed confronts the poltergeist on his own, and we see chairs and furniture moving around the room. The video continues, showing a clip of the family's little girl being bothered by the poltergeist, who moves the chair that she's sitting on. The Warrens would then later call a priest to perform an exorcism, which wasn't on camera. Arguably, you can see why. Although, by the end of the clip, the two of them note that there's no way of knowing if a poltergeist may or may not come back to haunt the family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to reveal your identity. 
All right, there we have it, friends. Which of these videos made you the most uncomfortable? Which ones stuck with you the most? Give us a shout in those comments below and let us know. If you dug this video, spread the love, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to Top 5 Scary Stories for more of that exactly spooky and creepy content. In the meantime, friends, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.